Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I am here with Danmachi season 3 episode number 10. Okay, the previous episode, um, there was all preparations going on of like, uh, number one, the Wanoki family was going to like, uh, try to find out all of them, uh, Xenosis and Bell and his family, that is Hestia family, uh, obviously like the Hestia family cannot like blatantly go out there. So Bell is going to act as a decoy and they're going to do something about the whole situation. And like at the end, we saw kind of Bell like walking out into the uh, like vast world outside to face uh, the Loki family. And I think this episode will be it. Like it will be uh, like uh, Loki uh, uh, Bell versus the Loki family. And I think uh, I don't know. Like maybe in episode number eleven, we're going to see like uh, Bell face off against Ice. Or in this episode, who knows? So let's see, it's almost at the end, uh, the anime, uh, this anime season, so let's see how they like wrap the whole thing up. So yeah guys, um, without further ado, let's get started with episode number 10 of Danmachi season 3. Okay, I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here, sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started. Okay, so here's the countdown. 3, 2, 1, go. What the hell is that noise? <laughs> Damn. <sighs> She's mad. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's not right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, she's having a breakdown. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you tell him. <laughs> oh my god. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah. Hmm, okay, let's hear it. And there he is! Our hero. Oh boy, these guys. Okay. And this can go either way. Um but I hope like uh I think they'll obviously like be able to save them but uh by the statement that this can go either way I mean that uh Bill's uh like I don't know like position in the whole uh city like in the lower world. Like I don't know. Like yeah, like this is bad. At least in the standpoint of like uh, his reputation, and if like by any chance uh, they are able to like clear up the whole thing of like Xenos as being bad, this kind of like as uh, like reputation of the Xenos, if they're able to like make it as if like yeah, these guys are okay, monsters are bad, but Xenos are okay. And if that is like, if Ur like Uranos or like someone like states this in front of everyone and everyone comes to realize this, then, then only then will uh, Bell standing with the rest of the uh, like town, the rep reputation be regained. 
and that's the only way otherwise i don't know how this will go like that's the only way to go let's see how they like resolve this Invisible force breakthrough. Oh my god, he's like standing there. Ready to. <laughs> They're all like. Like, ready to have a war. Like. My god. Like, the hatred towards the monsters. Like, I get it, but still. Oh my god. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> oh. Hmm. Wow, they're like all ready. Oh, these are Phil's mag. Damn. This is like a map in video games. <laughs> oh. Oh my god, they're, they're following him. From there. It's an ambush. Oh no, it's ice. Okay. Uh, well. Well, she's like enough. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> mm, well, from season one. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I I said that are you? <laughs> I, I just like what is happening one after the other? <laughs> And let's see if any like anyone else comes. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> oh my god. What? <laughs> Let's see if anyone else comes. Yep. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this <is> wow.
<laughs> oh my god, what? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if any other anyone else is like <laughs> Yep. Oh my god, he's just gonna like fly into a rage. <laughs> oh. Okay. <clears throat> no, but uh, that is like doing so much for you guys. You have to like try at least. Change your situation. <clears throat> oh. Seeing this unicorn for the first time. Hmm. Wow, Gross has changed. Like, like his standing for like for the for Bell. He was against him so much, but still. Okay, let's go. Ooh. Damn. <laughs> yep, that's the signal. She's kind of distracted, but Aster oh yeah, what? Wait, Aster's with was with them? They can communicate with him? Okay, that's something new. I thought he was like rampaging like a mindless I don't know Minotaur. Okay, so wait, he has consciousness as well? Oh yeah, maybe because AI manipulated him previously. Oh my god, Freya is Oh boy. <laughs> okay. Cin Cinderella, yep. Yep, that's Lily. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I should not laugh at this, but still, it's funny. Yep. Yep. <laughs> okay, let's see what eyes. Wait. Yeah. What? Oh my god. What was that? Well, she is there. Yep. Hmm. 
Okay, where is he? In the well? Oh. What is this? Oh, is, is this some kind of confusion? Yeah. Illusion, yeah. Oh. But eyes is yeah. She she won't fall for this. But oh, she's looking. Okay. Oh my God! Well, <laughs> there goes that. Oh, it's Ryu. Okay, this will be good. Like Ryu versus eyes. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, let's see. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, she's boosting her. Okay. Okay, this will be good then. Like. View versus eyes. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah. Yep. Hmm. Yep. Guess who? <clears throat> okay, so Oh, sh he's using s sin like the spell as well. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, but uh like there are guards there, so you have to deal with them sooner or later. Yes, Nani. Oh, that was Lily. I thought <laughs> they even got me. Okay, that was good. I was thinking, why was he using that spell? Oh, so that was Lily. Oh my god. Okay, okay. <laughs> Damn, they got them. <laughs> yep, well, good job. Yeah, that was a good job then. 
Oh my god. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh, freeze. Who is freezing? Yeah. Okay, so here's the. Oh, all right, let's see what's going to happen now. They're in the main position, yeah. <laughs> oh, he's using ma uh, magic sword, okay. Oh no, here he is. My god, this will be bad. He is pretty damn strong. All right. What was his name? Gareth. Gareth. Oh, Gareth. Um, yeah. But, yeah. Mm hmm. Okay. Mm, well, yeah, that won't stop him from long. Oh, he freezed again. Oh, good. Oh, boy. Oh, the gravity? She has gravity uh, mag, uh, power. <clears throat> Wait, what's happening? Wait, what happened? Did they like... Oh, she got lost. Oh boy, this is bad. Yeah, like, wait. Yeah, the, like, she got lost in the confusion. Oh my god, how could, what can Harim herself do? Like, she is like a pure supporter. That's it. Okay, I think Bell is going to like meet up with her. Yeah. Oh no. Oh, you. Oh no. Oh boy, well... <laughs> well... Okay, so... <laughs> mm, okay... <clears throat> Let's see... Uh, the situation is still as bad as it was <laughs> in the beginning of the episode. It got even worse, so... <clears throat> yeah, let's... Wait and see. Like, <laughs> the ending of this, like, season is so happy and, like, with friends and everything, with all of them. And <laughs> the episode in itself is, like, Bell is fighting against the whole, like, world. <laughs> oh, my God. But, yeah, like, technically, they are still, like, uh, the, uh, their bond, like, Bell's bond with their, like, family members is still as strong. So, yeah, it's kind of okay, but still, <laughs> like... <laughs> Like you're seeing like Belle getting like beaten up and then suddenly this ending comes up. Oh. Okay. Yep, that's the end. Oh, the next episode's name is 
Decisive battle, Ultra Soul. Okay. <laughs> My God. Uh, okay, so there are a few, like a lot of things still left to be resolved. Number one, the th whole thing with ice. I don't know how, like, I doubt this, uh, like, season is going to resolve the whole thing. Because obviously it's almost at the end. So I'm guessing they're going to, like, put out another season uh, in the future. Like, pretty soon. I'm ge hoping for that. Because obviously, like, there are, like, a lot of things left to be resolved. Number one, as I said, eyes, the thing with eyes. Number two, the whole thing with Asterios. Like, what's that about? And I, I never knew, like, uh, Asterios was, like, uh, was a... He was, he's a Xenos, is, that means, isn't it? That means he can, like, uh, understand uh, the... Uh, like, uh, understand, uh, like, uh, the thing. Like, he, he has, like, a consciousness. He's not, like, a mindless monster. Because obviously, like, they were talking about, like, Asterios not, like, what did they actually say at that time? Like, Asterios not, something about Asterios they said. So, that means technically he is kind of allied with them. So, oh, so that's the reason why, like, he came to help them when they were, like, in a pinch. And, yeah, he did not kill the adventures that is Ryu and, uh, uh, like, all of them when they fought. So, okay, okay, I'm getting the picture now. Because, yeah, if he was like a mindless minotaur, he wouldn't do it like that. So, so my question is, like, was he a Xenos from the season, from season one? Like, um, yeah, I think he was, wasn't he? Like, um, when uh, Freya uh, kind of took control of him using uh, Otal, his name's Otal, yeah. And, uh, like, he kind of trained him, trained the minotaur. That means he must have some kind of uh, like consciousness because he like himself kind of like took the training, became stronger and went to uh, stop like uh, went to uh, like disrupt Bell. Yeah, okay, I think he was a Xenos from the beginning. Not sure, but he died after that. Yeah, like Bell killed him. So and. Uh, yeah, he uh, like yeah, yeah. He, so then, uh, did he get reborn or something? That's the only um, explanation because otherwise, huh? but if he was reborn, how did he become so big in so, such a less amount of time? Because Bell barely uh, like uh, it has been barely a, like much time after Bell defeated him. So like. I don't know, like, he would have been a baby Minotaur, wouldn't he? <laughs> like, if he was reborn. So, okay, a lot of questions. I don't know. Uh -huh. But still, like, uh, as far as we can tell, like, Asterius is a Xenos, I think. Because obviously he has a consciousness. And I don't know what the hell is he planning and why, like, what is his, like, objective now. Because I can kind of see him, like, helping the Xenoses, like, in a few instances we saw and uh, so is he an ally now that will be great like if Asterius is an ally like damn and he like as we saw he is pretty damn strong now like uh, from even like from before uh, like he single-handedly like defeated all of those adventurers defeated Ryu and all and Ryu is pretty strong so yeah okay that will be good if he is an ally now and <clears throat> Okay, uh, another thing that really surprised me in this episode was the whole thing with Lily. Like, I was really, I got like, <laughs> like, I myself got uh, kind of uh, tricked. Like, I, I, I don't know why the thing did not click in my head. Like, it was like just this next scene that we saw Lily. Like, uh, it, like Finn was uh, like being shown. Then he suddenly like uh, made, used that spell. And uh, I thought maybe Finn was like using that spell and maybe like going somewhere and like going to do something using that spell. And in the next scene, I think we saw Lily. So I should have like put it like one plus one two, but I did not. Like I don't know why, but my mind never went there. That yeah, this is Lily, and he kind she kind of like tricked all of them, and technically tricked me as well. So yeah, that was something I really did not notice. Uh, like his like. <laughs> Like, Lily's acting was so damn good, like, he, like, not he, but she, uh, like, she, as Finn, like, like, relayed the order so, like, like, amazingly, so full of confidence and all, like, I never thought that that was Lily, like, it never crossed my mind, 
So like I got tricked at that. So yeah, a good job. That was a good job. Or maybe I was dumb. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, that was really like uh, something I <laughs> realized quite a bit late when suddenly Finn came in and said like, why, why, like who gave you permission, like orders? And all of them said like, you are the one who gave him. He's like, well, no, I didn't give him, <laughs> give the orders. And that was the time when it clicked. <laughs> and I was like, what the hell, why did I not notice that before? Okay. <laughs> and... Uh, the beginning of this episode was pretty damn funny. <laughs> like, Aina all like getting mad and everything, and then <laughs> like Belle meeting up with all of <laughs> uh, all of the ladies, and I sitting there and thinking like, what the hell am I doing here? <laughs> oh boy. And <clears throat> yeah, like thinking about it, there's a lot of them. Like, uh, f first who came? Um, NASA, but NASA is technically not uh, in Bill's. Like NASA is uh, has like uh, like likes uh, Mia, uh, Mia, yeah, Mia. So we can kind of um, exclude NASA, but still. And after, uh, okay, her name was NASA, wasn't it? Or am I mistaking it? Something else. My God, I'm so bad with yeah NASA names. Uh, <clears throat> okay, so yeah, that. And then comes in um, Rue and Aisha. <laughs> and then I, Aina. Oh boy, and Hestia was like <laughs> listening to all of that and I was uh, spectating it. That was funny. And uh, I don't know what Freya is planning. Like she kind of said something to Otal. And I don't know if she's going to like um, uh, interfere in this as well. Because obviously in season 1 and 2, he interfered quite a bit and like thinking about it now uh freya is a lot of the reason why bell is now who he is like uh because of freya like uh, the whole minotaur thing like i've seen a lot of people uh like kind of reacting negatively towards freya but i don't know i don't think she like she, like, she, like as i've seen like she adores bell and she like her adoration is kind of uh like shown in an uh, like other kind of way than others so uh, like affection towards uh, bell like her thing is like she wants to see bell grow and that's why she like uh, like adores him and like she adores the amount of potential he has and everything and so that's the reason why she like in season 1 kind of messed with bell and uh, like did the whole minotaur thing and that's also the reason why Bell became stronger and Bell got to the uh, like uh, position he is in now. Like without Freya, I don't think uh, like I don't know how he would he would got he would have gotten stronger. He would have gotten stronger eventually, but still, like Freya kind of gave him the push that he needed to like start running, and he is running now. So <clears throat> yeah, so that's the, like most of the credit goes to Freya for that. And like I kind of get it like why people react uh, some people react negatively to Freya because obviously like uh, her way of showing affection is kind of twisted So but that is like gods are like that like there are some gods who like wholeheartedly loves um, uh, like uh, Like people who humans uh, and shows it like directly, but there are some gods who are kind of like uh, mischievous and they like show like they love humankind but still they shows it they show it in a weird kind of way and i think freya is like that and like we have seen her uh, like taking bell's side a lo lot of times for example in ishtar arc and in the war arc where she kind of like helped bell to like uh, in the war arc like she did not do anything but she kind of like interjected when uh, like Apollo was saying like no, no one else would uh, like help Bell because uh, Bell is in the family himself, and Freya kind of interjected and like that's the reason why Ryu was like included as an outside member because of Freya. So that and the whole thing with Ishtar and obviously in season one she was the main uh, person who like pushed Bell and gave him the head start to start running. So yeah like um even though she does stuff like this she, uh, like she has the best intentions of bell so yeah like i really can't uh like dislike freya for that <clears throat> okay
okay so yeah and um, <clears throat> what else um oh okay so uh, and Wiener got lost in the whole like confusion and Harum is going there and I am hoping uh, Bell will also reach there soon oh oh and uh Wiener got found out by Tion and as far as I can remember yeah Tion was the only um yeah Tion was the only one who like uh had this kind of uh an i don't know like fascination towards the bell uh, because of the whole argonaut thing like the uh, hero tales and she was fascinated with that so like yeah and she also kind of helped him uh, train in the war arc so if he and bell meets up i don't know how she's going to react to the whole thing like she knows that bell is like uh like going against them but i don't know let's see and <clears throat> okay uh yeah oh and another thing uh Ryu versus eyes now that's something i really want to see and i don't know if they're going to show us that like there are a few uh like instances when like an anime usually does this like there is like a amazing fight that is probably going to go on but they kind of skip it and they show the result i'm not sure if they're going to do that in this but it has possibility because obviously it's almost at the end and i don't know like what they're going to do so even if they like shows us a uh, little bit uh five minutes of ryu versus ice that would be good and uh like uh, i know like ryu is a lot under level than ice but he's she's been boosted by haruhi man so this might be a pretty close fight uh i can't remember uh what uh level was ryu at i think she was level four or something most probably and eyes is six isn't it so if uh, ryu has been boosted one level she is five now so five versus six or uh, am i like calculating something wrong i can't remember the exact levels of them like i think eyes was six or seven i can't remember like close like one of that and ryu was something like four or uh, four she was probably four or five anyways um so yeah as i was saying like even if you get a little bit of that whole uh, like fight uh, like i'll be uh content and another thing we uh saw was like uh hermes giving aina something and i don't know what that was so and it kind of got stuck in her own hand so <laughs> i don't know what's going to happen now and uh, <clears throat> yeah yeah that was this episode so a lot of fights coming uh, uh like for example uh wealth and uh, mikoto are kind of facing off against gareth and uh Haruhime and bell is probably going to go and meet up with uh Wine and tiona they're going to fight against them and eyes is now fighting with ryu damn a lot of fights um who, who else is? oh Fion, uh, finn and all of them are probably like going to like move start moving now and we don't know about riveria like she is guarding a uh like one of the gates and i don't know if she's going to like uh, like uh like meet up with some of the adventurers and like have a fight with someone else so yeah wait and we'll have to wait and watch and um yeah oh and uh, asterios like now here's the thing if Asterius comes in and starts helping them that will be a big help for the uh, like uh, Xenosis and I don't know if he's going to help them or not but he seems pretty um, like friendly now <laughs> I hope at least it was a Xenosis so I hope he comes in and like joins the fight <laughs> yeah and also I don't know how he's going to react to Bell like he kind of got killed by Bell so I don't know does he hold a grudge against him or something we'll see let's see like what is it actually about and yeah that was this episode so in the next episode we'll probably like get to see Bell uh, like protecting uh, Wiener again and Ice versus Rue I hope 
so yeah um so yeah guys uh, this was episode number 10 so if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed uh, be sure to do so and you can comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to share about this episode go out in the comment section and do it i'll be sure to check them out and um so yeah guys uh, i'll be back with a new episode of danmachi uh, next week same time yeah so see you guys then so until then goodbye and have a nice day